We have been working tirelessly to bring you the latest information when it comes to this ice storm. It's been pretty epic across Ontario, Quebec, and now it's pushing into the Atlantic provinces. It has been there for the majority of the day already, and another wave of moisture is about to come upon the Atlantic. I'll show you the, how that's going to be playing out in just one moment. But first, right now, radar returns are showing that there's a lot of snow falling throughout Quebec, uh, heavier amounts to the north. That's where you're seeing the deeper blues. And then the pinks, that's what we're most concerned about. That is your freezing rain, prolonged periods of freezing rain. Hence, we do have freezing rain watches and warnings in effect. Also, winter storm warnings, and basically that means you're seeing a mixed bag of precipitation, more likely the snow flying, and it will be flying because you also have a lot of winds kicking up that snow, reducing visibility. Anywhere you're seeing the fuchsia, that's where we do have a freezing rain warning in effect, and that does include the National Capital Region, where we'll be going going live in just one moment to Arda Ocal as well. Have a look at your warnings right across the Atlantic. Also, vast freezing rain warnings. They continue to be in effect and they will be well into the day tomorrow as well. If you're seeing the snow in New Brunswick, chances are that's going to be changing over through the overnight and then it's going to be lasting that way for you throughout the day on your Sunday with a heavier band of precipitation moving in into your afternoon. All right, let's talk to Mike Arsenault, who is also left without power. I myself am off the grid, so not quite sure how things are going to be panning out for me tonight. What about you? Well, I'm actually going to stay in a hotel tonight, Cash. I had to come this could be a dark Christmas for some people, myself included, as more and more people are knocked off the grid because of Ice Storm 2013. Restoration times will grow as well. Right now, Hydro One is saying 72 hours or a little bit more than that. So uh, fingers crossed for hundreds of thousands of people in southern Ontario into Quebec as well. My name is Kasia Badarka, and I don't have power at home. But here's what I can tell you. We're looking at a lot of snow flying through through the mouth of the St. Lawrence into your Gas Bay region. We're concerned about this line of pink though. That's your freezing rain. And then of course your typical rain, your rain is flying or falling in southern parts of Nova Scotia. We have watches and warnings fully in effect for eastern parts of Ontario, including the nation's capital where we're going live in just a moment to Arda Ocal. Uh, freezing rain. I know you've seen prolonged periods of snow. 31 centimeters of snow fell in fact, but that's changing over to freezing rain, unfortunately. Out of the St. Lawrence, that's a winter storm warning. You're seeing snow come down and then the winds are kicking it up, reducing visibility. Not a good story there either. And then people that have been seeing the snow throughout the day today, throughout the Maritime Provinces, for instance, for you in PEI, you had hours and hours of snow come down. A good 25 centimeters of snow at last check in Charlottetown. Well, that's changing over to freezing rain and that's going to be lasting throughout the day. And another bout of that freezing rain for you tomorrow, you're going to be seeing more moisture there. But we've been scouring social media as well, and there have been some amazing photos that have been coming up. So we have Mark, Mike Arsenault joining us, who also happens to be without power. Mike, uh, what can you tell us now? What an event this has been. I know this is going to go down in history, really. We've seen 20 to 30, 20 to even 40 millimeters of freezing rain over hours, prolonged periods of freezing rain, southern and eastern Ontario. But if we do see any precipitation through the evening and the overnight, it will be in the form of light flurries because temperatures are going to be that low. And the problem here, I'm showing your seven-day outlook, is that temperatures are going to be below the freezing mark for some time until Thursday. And what that means is when everything freezes up and still there are some puddles out there, still there are some areas where we're just seeing the slush, well, that could very well turn to rock solid ice through the overnight because it'll be minus seven through the overnight. Um, and it could stay that way for a few days. So just a heads up through your Monday morning, still some snow to the north. Stormwatch continues. Stormwatch coverage continues here at the Weather Network as Ice Storm 2013 continues to unfold. I just found out a good hour ago that I'm knocked off the grid as well, and it could be a dark Christmas for a lot of us. Hydro One are saying that customers may be back on the grid maybe 72 hours from now. 
could be longer than that because so many more people are being knocked off. Uh, in any case, we continue to see the snow fly on radar, but we're also seeing the freezing rain. Here's your brown boundary. Here's your freezing rain line. The rain also southern parts of Nova Scotia, and that's going to be picking back up again for tomorrow, by the way. So another wave of moisture, and that's why we do have watches and warnings in effect for these places. I want to take you now to Mike Arsenault in the newsroom. He's been scouring social media, taking a look at some pretty amazing photos. Mike, you're also without power. What do you think? A possible dark Christmas? Oh, here we go. All right. Well, we do have continued okay, snow anymore. flying, and we do have more freezing rain coming to the region. By the time Tuesday morning rolls around, we're looking at a good 10 to 25 millimeters of freezing rain for much of the Atlantic, also parts of Quebec, and even the nation's capital. That's where we find Arda Ocal. Arda, well, you're in the dark, yes, and you had a good 31 centimeters of snow today. Is that right? A lot of preparation, city crews working around the clock, also hydro crews working around the clock. Hopefully we get our power back. Uh, we'll be talking about tips on what to do if you do get knocked off the grid, because if you're watching, well, obviously you still have TV. We'll be talking about that coming up throughout the show. But in the meantime, tomorrow looks like this across the Atlantic provinces. Still some rain, still some freezing rain and snow to the north. Someone just tweeted me, they said, well, Kasha, maybe the question is who's left with power? And I guess anybody watching our coverage right now, hands up, you continue to have power and you're the lucky ones. Uh, the truth is, is that with the winds picking up this evening, there's a good chance that more power lines will go down, more people will be knocked off the grid, and it could take a while before the power is restored because so many people Hundreds of thousands are without power right now. Kasia Badurka with us here. We'd love to see your tweets as well. We're live streaming uh, what we're seeing. So use the hashtag ONStorm, Atlantic Storm as well. We're also using Ice Storm 2013. Current radar returns look like this. We're seeing the snow fly heavier at times, especially northern parts of Quebec into Rimouski, the Gaspé region, and then the freezing rain also coming down. Places in and around Moncton, you're seeing that. I know Halifax, you've been seeing prolonged periods of freezing rain as well throughout the day and tomorrow another bout of that so just a heads up brace yourself for that have a look at your current warnings across the country or across the east i should say with ottawa being in the freezing rain warning i know you have so much snow on the ground already that's transitioning to your freezing rain as well because temperatures are falling at, or the temperatures are rising a little bit closer to that freezing mark hence it is coming down as rain than freezing upon contact for a lot of us really waterloo ontario looks like this pretty much right now this photo uh, or this video uploaded earlier today yeah it's just crazy and and you know i usually hesitate to use words like crazy but this weather really is. I've never seen anything like this myself. First, she tells me, yeah, this is nothing compared to what she saw in Ottawa at that time. But Ottawa, brace yourself for prolonged periods of freezing rain as well. Now, before the sun comes up, we still could see some precipitation. And if you are in southern and northern Ontario, it's mostly going to be in the form of flurries. So we should be in the clear. Also, Kingston and further east as well. So that's good news. Now, when it comes to how much freezing rain we did have, just as we had forecast a good 20 to 30 millimeters of freezing rain, especially for areas like Brampton, Kitchener, Waterloo, where there's so much uh, damage associated with this freezing rain buildup, that ice buildup. All right, Mark Robinson, storm hunter, while well, he's been out in the elements, here's what he had to say earlier today. Well, too late for that, right? All right, thanks to Mark for that. All right, we have some tips for you. Should you be thrown off the grid as well? I want to bring that up for you as well. And Ice Storm 2013, this is the biggest story, really. It's quite devastating, actually, because we're so close to Christmas. Uh, of course, we've got a lot of flight delays and cancellations altogether. Yesterday at the airport, I met so many people that won't be able to be home for Christmas because of this, because of weather and power outages. Uh, power outages, a lot of us could be in the dark for Christmas as well. So we'll keep you abreast with the latest information, with what we hear. At this point, Hydro One is saying 72 hours until most of us are restored back onto the grid. But I'm suspecting as more people are knocked off the grid, that timing is going to be extended. So just be prepared for that. All right, so have a look at current radar. Uh, we are continuing to see the snow. 
We're also continuing to see the freezing rain and the rain also for southern parts of Nova Scotia. Because of the freezing rain, of course, that is your most dangerous form of precipitation. There are warnings still in effect issued by Environment Canada, and they will remain in effect well into the day tomorrow, especially for you in New Brunswick, PEI, and parts of Nova Scotia as well. And we'll get to that, but let me move out of the way here. Uh, places just outside of Bon Echo, Brockville, Cornwall, all the way through to Montreal, though Montreal, you're just on the cusp. It looks like it's still a snowfall story for you. Pushing into the mouth of St. Lawrence, that's going to be a winter storm warning. And what that means is it's about the snow that's falling, uh, but it's being kicked up by the really strong winds as well. Speaking of winds, we're also seeing further gusts, gusts picking up in uh, the GTA where we have all that ice building up. So if you still have power, you're not completely out of the woods because, of course, the trees, they're more vulnerable to being knocked down by the winds. And that, of course, knocks down your power lines as well. All right, so more on the Atlantic story. We do have uh, freezing rain warnings for places that are still seeing the snow. So that's going to be transitioning for you. Arda Okal, he's been live in the city of Ottawa. Here he is right now. Arda? He's making me crave apple pie now, talking about that big apple in Coburg. But I can't heat it up when I get home. No power for me. All right. So 20 to 25 millimeters of freezing rain fell in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. More than that through Brampton and northern parts of the GTA. If you do see precipitation through the overnight, we're just talking about flurries really for the most part. Not a whole lot happening in terms of that. But what's happening is our temperatures are going to be dropping like a rock. And because of that, well, a lot of that ice will remain. Okay. So that's just a heads up to continue to solve your uh, your walkways and your driveways now now that I am talking about tips I want to give you some tips in case you do get thrown off the grid mm. my favorite thing about the holidays is the homemade treats spending Hundreds of thousands of people without power in Ontario and Quebec, and it could very well be like that through Christmas Eve and even Christmas Day. Kasia Badurka here, myself included in this story, and I hope this isn't your story through the Atlantic provinces where we're seeing this storm ramping up, hence we are in Stormwatch. Okay, right now it looks like the snow continues to fly. It continues to be heavy, especially for places in and around the Gaspé region, the mouth of the St. Lawrence, Quebec City. Looks Looks like you're just through with the snowfall, which is good, but we could be seeing another bout of moisture in behind that. Here's a look at your freezing rain. Anywhere you're seeing the pink color there, and of course your green, that's your that's your rainfall. A lot of that rainfall will be changing over to freezing rain for you in the province of Nova Scotia. So just a heads up, we're going to be talking about that in just one moment. Meantime, freezing rain warning still vast right across the eastern part of the province into Quebec as well, and then freezing rain warnings in the Atlantic as well. Let me take you to Waterloo on icicles. Everything, everything is completely coated with ice. A good one to two, possibly even three centimeters of it. So well, how does that ice up over bridges and overpasses? We have signs behind the weather with Jacqueline Whittle right now. Oh, I was just given information that that's not going to be the case at this point. We'll have that. We'll bring we'll be bringing that to you coming up shortly. Meantime, if you will be seeing precipitation throughout southern Ontario and eastern Ontario, should be in the form of flurries, so not a big deal. The bigger deal is the temperatures dropping. If you have uh, pools of, let's say, just some moisture, so let's say you have some puddles outside of your door, let's say you have some slush, and we're seeing a lot of that on the roads, that could very well ice up tonight. So just a heads up, it could be even more slick, if you can believe that, right? So maybe salting yet again. We have seen a good 20 to 30 millimeters of this freezing rain throughout parts of southern Ontario. Not a good situation, hence so many of us without power. And then again, we're, we're talking about that snow throughout the Atlantic and the freezing rain with your freezing rain warnings looking like this right now. So the timing for this really is from now until late day Sunday. Tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting another bout of moisture, more moisture uh, from the Atlantic, and it could very well be a freezing rain story, and it could be what we're experiencing in Ontario and Quebec, you may be experiencing this tomorrow with prolonged periods of freezing rain. We could be uh, building up a good one to three centimeters of, of freezing rain of ice, I should say, actually on your power lines, on your trees and limbs, and that could very well bring down your power as well. St. John, New Brunswick because it's it's that hard snow it's it's been transitioning and it will continue to transition for places like St. John so just a heads up 
for the overnight, it should be a little more on the quiet side, but then Monday I mentioned that other bed of moisture, and here's what we are expecting. Under the pink, that's your freezing rain. Uh, green, hey, that's okay, that's just your typical rain falling, and then to the north, that's your snow, with still heavy amounts of snow expected to the north. Stormwatch coverage continues right here at the Weather Network. If you're watching us on TV, you likely are. Well, you're one of the lucky ones to have power. So many of us in Ontario and Quebec, hundreds of thousands knocked off the grid, myself included, my family uh, in the Durham region area, as well as Toronto. We're all without power. And this could very well be the reality in through Christmas. Could be a dark Christmas, a historic Christmas. Uh, by the way, tell us what you're thinking. Show us your pictures, your photos, your videos. Tweet that to us. We're also live streaming the tweets that we're seeing. And don't forget to use the hashtag ONStorm, Atlantic Storm, as well as Ice, Tor Ice Storm 2013. That's also being used. Dark TO is also another popular hashtag. Okay, so right now we are seeing the snow through the Atlantic provinces. The majority of the moisture has pushed off from Ontario, so that's good news. Still seeing just a few flurries, not a big deal. The big deal there, though, is that temperatures are plummeting, and we'll talk about that coming up. Meantime, we're looking at some warnings issued by Environment Canada. They've been in effect for some time. Places marked in fuchsia, I would say these are the most important warnings to be heating right here. These are your freezing rain warnings and freezing rain of course is your most dangerous form of precipitation in the winter as we push further in the into the Atlantic we continue to see some freezing rain warnings so that does include many parts of New Brunswick the Cumberland Valley parts of uh, of Nova Scotia into Cape Breton as well this timing wise is happening now through late day Sunday with another bout of moisture coming upon us throughout the day Sunday Nathan Coleman he's been live in the Atlantic New Brunswick, I believe, for much of the day into the evening as well. Here's what he had to say. That's funny. I just got a text from my husband who told me that, yeah, he filled up the entire tub with warm water if I want to take a, sh well, if I want to clean myself, let's say. Uh, there's that option. So that's a great tip there that Nathan Coleman had provided, and we have some more for you, in fact. So should you be thrown off the grid, have a look at this, okay? And, and it will continue to stick on the ground. Why? Well, because temperatures are going to be well below the freezing mark for the next few days. Have a look. We had seen a good 20 to 30 millimeters of freezing rain throughout southern Ontario in the past 24 to 48 hours. But like I mentioned off the top, if we do see additional precipitation through these areas, it's just going to be in the form of flurries. Why? Temperatures through the overnight, they're dropping to minus 7, but it's going to be feeling like minus 14 with the winds. The wind being another concern here because, of course, our trees, they're vulnerable. They'll be falling over the lines as well because of the gusts, and then boom, more people knocked off the grid, right? Uh, have a look at the next few days. Temperatures well below the freezing mark, like I mentioned. Christmas Day, some flurries, but temperatures still feeling like minus 12. Speaking of cold temperatures and freezing rain, we do have freezing rain warnings in effect for parts of the West. So for you in northern parts of, uh, of Alberta, just a little west and north of Edmonton, there's a chance that you're going to be seeing freezing rain tonight, but not prolonged periods like it has been for southern Ontario and eastern Ontario. Snow also. Stay with us. A tweet I read earlier today, I believe it was from Hydro One, it said, if you have power, share the power. And chances are, if you're watching us right now, you have power. So it's a good idea. I liked this. I saw this on my Facebook feed this morning. Uh, people that do have power, just put it out there on your Facebook and say, you know, Good friends and family, if you do need a warm place to stay or if you want a hot meal, come on over. It's just in the spirit of the of the season, right? This could very well be uh, hmm, a, a historic Christmas season, really, because some people could still be left in the dark. And it's really unfortunate. Also, I was at the airport yesterday. A lot of people actually can't make it home for Christmas because of flight cancellations. In any case, active weather continues. So do your tweets. We're live streaming that also. So if you do 
do have something to say, we would love to see it. Use hashtag ON storm, Atlantic storm, or ice storm. All right, so snow continues to fly through the Gas Bay region, pushing a little bit further into the Atlantic provinces. The further north you are, the better chance that it's snow that you're seeing. But we are seeing freezing rain live right now on current radar returns as well. Freezing rain also, that's the changeover in the city of Ottawa for the majority of the day. It was a snowfall story changing over to some freezing rain now. And that's going to be carrying on for a period of time. We've got video of St. Jacob uh, for the Kitchener area. Looked like this a little bit earlier. What a mess, an absolute mess out there. So obviously packing your patience as you're heading out and treat all of these kind of crosswalks as four-way stops. All right, if you happen to have to take a bridge to commute wherever it is you're going, here's a little interesting Science Behind the Weather by Jacqueline. Both hands on the wheels. All right, so if we do see precipitation through the overnight, not a whole lot of it, and it should be in the form of flurries. Why? The temperatures are going to be dropping for southern Ontario and eastern Ontario for that matter. And anything that's wet on the ground, because we, we did see some pooling, we did see some regular puddles as well, some melting did occur throughout the day, that's going to be icing up again through the overnight temperatures. At Pearson, minus 7 will be feeling like minus 14 with the winds. Also, the winds is also a bad story too, because already the branches, they're vulnerable so some of us are susceptible to being thrown off the grid as well. All right, so we've seen a lot of freezing rain through southern Ontario, and we continue to see active weather in the east. Stay with us for more on this. In Brampton, Brantford, I should say, was bonding over it. Look at all that. I'm just shaking my head at this video going, <laughs> really, so many of us were going through this in Ontario, in Quebec, and it could be your turn in the Atlantic provinces. Kasha Badurka with you here. We have Arda Okal. He's live in Ottawa where some people are losing power as well. Also, I just wanted to mention we're live streaming your tweets. So if you do have something to say about Ice Storm 2013, we'd love to see it and we'll be showing that as well. All right. So in the meantime, on radar, the snow well, remains in place north of Quebec City, right around Moncton. You're just on that cusp of seeing the freezing rain right there. And then Halifax, you've seen pro prolonged periods of freezing rain throughout the day today. It looks like that's changing over, but it could very well be freezing rain yet again tomorrow. Hence, we do have a freezing rain warning in effect for much of Atlantic Canada. Also, that remains in effect for the nation's capital. And that's where we find our friend Arda O'Cal, who's been live all day enduring the snow and now the freezing rain. And the latest that we've heard, some people with power, then without power, then with power again. Arda, what's the latest? Thanks so much, Arda. And of course, we remember what happened back in 98. It was pretty epic. Everybody across the country remembers. So, so far, it doesn't look like it did back then. Fingers crossed it won't be another, it won't be a repeat of that event. Meantime, let's push further to the Atlantic where we're continuing to see the freezing rain warnings in effect. This time, it's for places southern, uh, southern New Brunswick, the Cumberland Strait, as well as much of the province of New, um, of Nova Scotia, and that does include the city of Halifax. To the north, though, it's a snowfall story. And then back to Ontario, we had a good 20 to 40 millimeters of freezing rain. So the numbers are in, the tally is up, and yeah, we had a lot. And that's just enough to create a good one to three centimeters of ice building up on your power lines, on your branches, hence a lot of people without power. By the way, some people have been restored their power in the city of Toronto, so there's some good news there. There's some uh, some progression. So, fingers crossed that us without power will get that back before Christmas. If we do see precipitation through the overnight, it will be in the form of some light flurries. And here we're taking a look at the temperature story and what we can expect over the next few days. And of course, Tuesday, Wednesday, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, temperature is still well below the freezing mark. So the ice that you're seeing will be there until Christmas. St How freaky is this video? Have a look at this, okay? This is Speyside, Ontario. We were live from there earlier today. It almost looks like post-apocalyptic video, doesn't it? That first shot especially. Gorgeous is that when you see the ice covering the branches and the foliage. It's really beautiful, but as you know, 
absolutely destructive as well. Kasia Badurka with you here. Among the hundreds of thousands without power, so I don't know what my situation is going to be like when I get home, I'm thinking goodness that we have power here. TWN live streaming your tweets. Tell us what you're thinking. Tell us what you're going through. The Atlantic, you're next. And we're also going live to Arda Ocal in Ottawa in just a few moments. All right. On radar, we're seeing the snow. It's lightening up a little bit. It was a little more intense not too long ago. But don't be fooled. We have another bout of moisture coming upon us for tomorrow into the afternoon. So Monday, another active day for you to say the very least across the eastern flank of the country your warnings look like this anyone marked in fuchsia these are the warnings that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking are the most important because freezing rain is the most dangerous form of precipitation in the winter and that's what this warning is for and that does include the city of Ottawa where we find our friend Arda Ocal <laughs> who I'm sure is pretty tired I know you spent 10 hours on your way from the city of Toronto Thanks so much, Arda. So stay safe out there and stay warm. It must be quite cool as well. All right, so moving forward, taking a look at some other warnings across the country. I'm taking you now to the Atlantic provinces in Fuchsia. Those are your freezing rain warnings. Much of the province of Nova Scotia into Sydney as well, Cape Breton and New Brunswick. You will be seeing the freezing rain as well. And we have our fingers crossed for you that it's not going to be a similar story to what we saw. But, you know, we've already seen the ice building up throughout the day. We've been going live all day to Nathan Coleman in New Brunswick today seems like the story is unfolding in a very similar way, unfortunately. All right, we've been seeing good 20 to 30 millimeters of rain, of freezing rain, I should say, throughout southern Ontario and today. And what that has done is built up a good one to two centimeters of ice built up on pretty much anything on many surfaces across the region, including the roads, really. Side roads, on and off ramps to the highways, not good. And really the main message is stay off the roads if you possibly can. The only silver lining is that it was a weekend, but it was such a busy weekend, of course, being so close to Christmas. All right, so if we do see some precipitation through the evening and the overnight, just some light flurries, what the big problem is for Southern Ontario now is temperatures. temperatures are going to be below the freezing mark, minus 7 through the overnight. So any surfaces that are wet or slushy, that's going to ice up. Not good. I take you now to video of Toronto earlier today. It's just an ice cube. It's an ice rink in much of southern Ontario. And obviously because of that, so many people without power, myself included. Hey, there's the Big Apple there in Coburg. Love it. I think Arda took that video earlier. Oh, poor Arda. Okay, 10 hours in the car because of the freezing rain. Freezing Freezing rain also to the north of Alberta. We're going to continue to talk about this as well. Not as. It's almost eerie when you drive through the streets of Toronto in my neighborhood. No lights at all. And all the Christmas lights used to be up. And it's kind of sad. You don't see that anymore. Kind of creepy. And fingers crossed that we'll have the lights back up and electricity up and running before Christmas. Kasia Badurka with you here, hoping I stay warm tonight. <laughs> what about you? If you're watching, chances are you have TV. So you're one of the lucky ones, aren't you? And it's a good idea to reach out to your friends and family and say, hey, if you don't have power, come on over because tis the season, right? All right, I'm going to throw it now to Rachel Schutzen. She's been talking about uh, safety tips when it comes to your vehicle. Have a look. Finally, don't forget the salt. There's going to be a lot of icing, especially happening, th happening through the overnight in southern Ontario and eastern Ontario because temperatures are plummeting. And if you do have, let's say, slush or puddles outside your door, that's going to be freezing up likely through the overnight. On radar, we continue to see the snow fly. And it's not as strong or heavy as it was earlier today. But be not fooled, we have another bout of moisture coming upon us. So just a heads up there. Anywhere you're seeing the pinks, though, that's your freezing rain. So place it, well, the entire province of Nova Scotia, it looks like we're seeing periods of freezing rain as well. And it's a little bit warmer to the south, so that's more of a rainfall story there. Watches and warnings look like this. Still quite the mosaic, isn't it? Uh, the color, those places marked in fuchsia, that's your freezing rain warning. That's, uh, that's including the National Capital Region up through to Pembroke as well. Now, if you're seeing precipitation through the overnight, not to worry, it's not going to 
be a freezing rain story in southern Ontario. Just some light flurries for you because, boy, have we ever had enough of freezing rain, a good 20 to 30 millimeters of freezing rain. And that translated to a good one to three centimeters of ice accretion on all surfaces. Stormwatch covered. Everybody had their cameras out taking shots like this. How awful is that, right? Was your car stuck under trees? Trees were going down and cars and homes and saw the sense of camaraderie between the neighbors there. People are bonding over this type of thing, right? And we're actually seeing the good coming out of people at this time of year too. We were just talking about that with my director and behind the scenes, I can hear her right now in my ear. Uh, she said that so many people have been coming out and helping her lately when it comes to these disasters, weather related. All right, ice storm 2013. It'll go down in history, I'm sure, because so many people without power so very close to Christmas only time will tell what's going to happen, myself included. I, I sure hope it's not going to be a dark Christmas. All right, fingers crossed for my friends in the Atlantic provinces as well, where it continues to be snowing. Uh, snow is a little bit heavier, though, to the north, pushing into Setzil as well. Rimouski, it's a little on the heavier side. What we're more concerned about, though, is the freezing rain. That's where it's more slick, dangerous out on the roads, and that's where we are seeing that ice building up on surfaces as well for you. Freezing rain warnings in effect for the city of Ottawa, Bonaco to Cornwall. Montreal, you're just on the cusp. It's more of a snowfall story for you. So how have you been braving the active weather in the city of Ottawa? Have a look. Oh, the memory is a look back at some of the more epic weather moments that we've had. All right, especially don't open your fridge or your freezer. This is something that um, I wouldn't have thought about as well. My husband's been saying, yeah, don't do that when you come home. Don't don't do that uh, because then your food will stay fresh longer if you don't open the doors as well. Turn down your thermostat. You don't want to overwhelm the power grid once everybody's up and running. So turn it down keep it a little bit more um, subdued at this point when it comes to your power consumption. All right, so let's talk about the type of precipitation we're expecting. Not a whole lot, really, and if we do see anything, it's just in the form of flurries. Why? Because temperatures are plummeting. It's getting colder out there. The winds are picking up. They're shifting also. It was a southerly flow that we had, and now we've got a northwesterly flow. That's making that things, conditions, a little bit colder. And because of that, if you do have slush outside of your home, if you do have uh, just some puddles, they're likely going to be freezing up, and they're not going to be going any where we've had a lot of freezing rain, that's for sure, and now that's headed your way in the Atlantic. What a night, what a day, what what an interesting 48, 72 hours, actually, with so many people off the grid. Others are just waiting and hoping that they're going to ride through the storm or the aftermath of the storm and continue to be unscathed by the power outage. Kasia Badurka with you here. My power's out, not looking forward to going home. <laughs> so I'm happy that we have it here at the TWN studios, where, by the way, we are going to be live streaming also on mobile we were doing that earlier for those of you who know people that are only that only do have access to us on mobile you can let them know and if they go to theweathernetwork.com they'll be able to find a link there and I'll tweet out that link coming up very shortly in the meantime for you in the Atlantic some people are seeing the snow heavier for those to the north closer to Setzil Quebec City it looks like you're through with the heavier bands of snow and then of course the freezing rain that's the pink you're seeing there on radar. Not good. You don't want to see that on radar or for 12 hours on radar. 20 to 30 hours of freezing rain for some people in southern Ontario. That's why we do have this problem with the power. All right, we do have watches and warnings still in effect. This issued by Environment Canada well ahead of this storm. This was a very well forecasted storm, I should tell you. Uh, the city of Ottawa, now we're seeing the switch over from your precipitation. We had a lot of snow. Now that's changing over to freezing rain, and that'll continue through much of this evening as well. Uh, parts of the Atlantic provinces, it's a similar story there too. So if you have been seeing the snow fly through my 
much throughout much of the day. That's going to be transitioning. Hence, a lot of us now under a freezing rain warning, and that includes the entire province of PEI, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, and then just parts of southern New Brunswick. Speaking of southern New Brunswick, Nathan Coleman, he was live from there earlier the day, throughout the day and into the evening. Nathan? That's all he could do at that point, right? You just ride out the storm and you sit and wait for the second band of moisture, which is coming in Sunday or tomorrow afternoon, I should say. I'm getting my days mix mixed up, especially with Christmas coming up, right? Uh, 20 to 30 millimeters of freezing rain. What does that translate to? A good one to three centimeters or half an inch, even an inch of ice buildup on trees, on power lines. It looks beautiful out there, but kind of creepy. And it's destructive. It's been very destructive so far. If we see precipitation through the overnight before the sun comes up, it'll just be the flurries. Temperatures, temperatures, this is a sad story. It's going to be below seasonal yet again. Earlier this evening, I was outside. It was feeling a little on the balmy side. Not, uh, not so balmy anymore. Below seasonal, below freezing. Minus 11 through Tuesday. That's your Christmas Eve, by the way. All right, we've got some more video for you. I'm going to tear and obviously the gentleman doesn't want that there so ways in which we're dealing with this weather we do have a freezing rain warning in effect for parts of BC as well as Alberta to the north it's not going to be as epic as it is for the eastern flank of the country why because it's just periods of freezing rain for you but all in all or all this to say is stay stay inside don't go out there it could be slick out there and we still do have snow in the forecast for you through the higher elevations